Welcome back to Brent's Hang, I'm Brent Barnett. And today is another episode in our cool accessories from Gibraltar. Today, we're talking toolkits. As a working drummer, there's always things on your kit that break down and, you know, things that you don't really pay attention to right at the right at first, but they start to wear on you, you start losing things, and um, I'm not meaning stuff like where it breaks down and your cymbal stand falls over. I'm talking about the small things like cymbal felt, sleeves, um, the tension rod falling falling off your, uh, your the bottom of your snare drum when you're playing and it just disappears into the vast dark, dark hole on the stage. You know, like when you're putting a cymbal stand away, the wing nut falls off and travel and then all of a sudden you're felt disappears, this kind of stuff. These are little parts that drummers don't always think about that they should have as a backup. Well, what we did was we took a list of parts that we see that is reoccurring, that always happens, and we created a little tech kit. And this is the drummer's tech kit, the SCDTK. So let's go over to um, Cymbal Land. Let's talk about Cymbal Land. The whole top row right here, we've got three pairs of felts. Felts always disappear, so we need to have felts with us all the time, otherwise your cymbals get destroyed. We've also got cymbal washers. Now this is the, the washer that the actual felt sits on. You need to have that, otherwise your cymbal is going to fall all the way down to the tilter. We've also got cymbal sleeves. That protects your cymbal from the threaded post. That is very, very important. You know, because once that thing gets chewed up, then you start keyholing your cymbal, and then next thing you know, your cymbal cracks, and you've got to buy another $200 ride cymbal. Or that's actually being really generous. Let's go to hi hat land. We've got hi hat clutch felts. Those protect your uh, your uh, hi hats from getting damaged from the actual clutch. And also, we have the hi hat cup felt. This is the uh, the felt that protects the bottom cymbal when resting on the hi hat cup. Now let's go over to Tuning Land. Tuning Land, we have a snare wire cord. Now the snare wire is very important, as you all know, because the snare drum is what creates the backbeat. And once the snare drum goes, the show is over. You have to, you can't play Billie Jean with your snare sounding like a timbali. It just doesn't work. So snare. This comes with a nylon cord, and the nylon cord is there in case your snare strap breaks. We've also got tension rods. A lot of the time you'll be playing and from show to show, it happens to me, show to show, th they start falling off underneath on the bottom side of the drum and then next thing you know you pull your drum out of the case the next day and you're missing a tension rod. Well, comes with three. Also, very important, drum key. I can't tell you how many drummers I've run across that they don't have a drum key and guess what they do? Hey, Brent, can we borrow, do you have a drum key I can borrow? Like, okay, so then next thing you know, I don't get that drummer, I don't get that drum key back. It's gone. It's just like a lighter. You can never, you loan a lighter to someone at a party and it disappears. Okay, so now over to bass drum land. This is the, uh, it's a slam pad. And it's not just any slam pad. This is a slam pad with a little metal clicker on the inside. This is designed to protect your head from the bass drum beater going through it and puncturing a hole. I've done that before. You don't want to do that. But this actually has a clicker so that it creates an attack sound when the actual bass drum head beater strikes the bass drum head. So now you get more of a click as opposed to a thud. For those of you rack lovers out there, I've got the kit for you. This is the RFT kit, Rack Factory Tech Kit. Let's go over to Tool Land. First we have the level. Now this is a great level. It gives you three different balance points, a vertical balance point, a horizontal balance point, and a diagonal balance point. Now what's really cool about this level is that it has a magnet on the underside of the level so that you can mount it upside down if you want, you can mount it directly to the side of a leg, or you can mount it on a crossbar and not have to worry about it moving around on you. Now we've got a double-sided wrench. Everyone needs a double-sided wrench sometimes, we've got one for you. We've also got a tri-key. Now what this is, it has a drum key on one end, it has a uh, Phillips head screwdriver on one end, and then it, on the third side, it's got a Allen key. Now, these are all tools that can be used with the Gibraltar rack clamps and all the poles. We've got a nice little white towel so it can clean off and polish all the fingerprint marks that get, that, that get onto your bars when you're transporting it and setting it up. And it also 
comes with these cool, nifty gloves. Now, with these gloves on, you don't have to worry about fingerprints anymore. All right, so let's take a trip over to Bragging Land in this region right over here. Comes with a clip-on logo that you can slap right onto the front of your crossbar so that everybody knows you're playing a Gibraltar rack. It also comes with a Gibraltar decal sticker that you can slap right on the front of the bass drum in case they happen to miss the logo right on the front of your rack. All this stuff comes in a cool little tech bag right there. Very easy, very simple. Fits in a backpack, small little backpack. Now if that ain't cool, I don't know what is. Well that's all the time we have for the show. Uh, this is just one installment of many Gibraltar accessory videos that we're gonna have. And um, the toolkits that I just showed you are great for whenever you're in a bind, something comes up missing, um, this will be right there for you to cushion you when you fall. Anyways, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you next time.